Yo, bartender. Bar's closed. Hey, yo, bartender, what's good, man? Let me, let me, let me, let me get a drink, man. Let me get a shot. Hey, man, I know you just pulled up to the bar, but we closed. Come on, come, on, come on, man. I, I, I you, you, you gotta be able to give me a shot, man. Come on. You look like you need a drink, man. But I hate to tell you this, man. We about to close. So, so you mean to tell me all these people out here they got sh they got drinks and they got shots, but I can't get them the bar closed that soon? Okay, man. I don't know what else to say. I got this shorty half my age at the crib, and I'm trying to get to it. But last call was ten minutes ago. You know what? It's alright. Don't you know? What? Don't even don't even worry about it. Don't worry about it. All right. Tell you what. I'm gonna get you one drink. Cause it look like you need one drink. One. I I can I can do one drink. I can do one drink. Cause I I really yeah yeah. Hey man, anything man, anything man. Look like you got a lot on your mind and you need a friend right now. Pour it on me. Ain't no last calls here. Bar Talk with Jay. All right, welcome to Bar Talk with Jay. Welcome. One of the things I want to say is brought to you by Dispose LLC. This is a garbage company that's been around for now for over three years. Yeah. And we know how to do some things. The only thing I can tell you is go to the website. You can see all the things I can do for you. So if you're looking for the small stuff, I'm, I'm doing it larger. Okay, I got a larger container, but we can get all that trash away from you. And all you got to do is go to our website and see all we can do. Again, I even handle that front load. That's right. That's right. If you don't know what that is, go to my website. You'll be able to see it's the smaller commercial situations where you got like apartments and uh, not necessarily your housing but I got the roll-offs for the housing so all the different needs that you might need I might be able to take care of all your needs and that's what I like to do at this phase yeah, let's see. Outstanding. now I gotta get back to this person been rocking with me for so long now it ain't even funny forget the time and the years just understand he got a reason to smile tonight yes I'm throwing them out there yeah Grandpappy! <laughs> Grand Medic, how you doing yeah. tonight, big baby? I be love so smooth, Jay. Man, so, man. y'all. Everything's gravy. My man let me know about his daughter. Let me yeah. tell you, this is a family wearing show. Uh, hats off to her for having her first child. Yes. So you got every reason to smile yes. tonight, man. How you feeling, man? Man, I'm feeling fantastic. Fantastic. Bro. You know, in order to achieve something like that, you, uh -huh. you done been through some things. <laughs> It's like last it's like, I remember, she had the baby. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, yeah, but she <laughs> didn't. You know, she uh -huh. you know she uh -huh. got lots of pops, uh, oh, okay. support and help and okay. love and nourishment, etc. And uh, well, it's just an that. accomplishment, right? It is. It's an accomplishment. She's done extremely well, man. You know, college degree. She's in the military and she teacher and she you know just on a grind and uh, to see her come together with her first family, with her family and. Uh, it's just beautiful, man. You know, right. you 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 hope. You know, many years ago, I used to pray. I said, I hope it don't be some old bullshit when it's time for my my baby to have a baby. <laughs> you know, I hope she finds love. I hope right, she right. meets somebody good. I hope she can, you yeah, know, she somebody did. she can grow with. And she, she did, did, bro. She, she did. did. Right on. Just a beautiful family. So um, I'm just filled with the spirit right now, man. How you doing tonight, bro? Man, let me tell you. I had more joy coming to my day when you sent me the pictures and I was able to see and again I couldn't put them out on social media because it's a private thing but I promise you I was excited for him yeah. uh, I've been having my grandkids you know they up there you know I, I'll tell you my mind is uh, 13 and 11 okay but just the feeling and knowing about them and how it adds to the legacy of your family I, I know it is a proud moment yes. and then to know that they came out and they, they're healthy I mean, that's God's work. That's God's work, man. You know, and that's more on his yeah. end. I want to give praise yeah. to him to bring her through all that yeah. with no scars and the fact that she's healing. Man, I'm going to tell you right now, man, you almost got me over here ready to tell the prayer. I know, man. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> and listen, we're going to get to that in just a minute here. Uh, a great way to introduce our show. Yeah. This is Bar Talk with Jay. My name is Craftmatic. This is my boy, Smooth Jay. In the building. And of course, we are here to liberate your minds and souls with a great dialogue. Tonight, we are talking uh -huh. honest hour. Uh -huh. What's hard about dating you? Oh, you want me to snitch on me? Yes, that's what we want you to do tonight. Snitch on yourself. This no. ain't about the world and what they think. This is about what you know as being difficult for other people that maybe deal with if you're going to be dating them. Dude, right? why I'm single now? <laughs> Talk to me that much. <laughs> know. Well, you know, it's just, just honest hour. Okay, honest okay. hour. And so... We hope you folks get something out of this show. We um, uh, we like for it to be kind of therapeutic right, right. Uh, as we talk through it. Figure out um, what you're going to do better, bigger, more. You know, uh, figure out how this information can help you make better decisions, be better people. 
uh, not make some of the mistakes that we've made or put yourself perhaps in some of the self-inflicted traps mm -hmm. that we have. And so uh, it's just time to grow tonight. And of course, uh, we always start the show off with a prayer. Yeah. And I got a nice prayer lined up for us. <clears throat> Give it to him, be correct. Tonight we are praying about being purpose driven. Okay, okay. Not being, about being purpose driven. Okay. Let's hand it over. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all that you are in our lives, uh, for your grace and your mercy and the gifts of the Spirit. We ask, Heavenly Father, that you would help us tonight become purpose driven people. Mm. You see, Lord, we're not asking for things and stuff tonight, we're not asking for worldly things. We ask for the spirit on the inside to be amplified and fortified to live a purpose-driven life. Put a fire under our feet as to what you would have us to do as our purpose in this life. Put our feet on the ground with an extreme traction to drive forward in our purpose. Guide us, strengthen us, protect us. Well up in, our, in us, Father, a strength and a character and a resolve and a warrior spirit that is absolutely dedicated to achieving our purpose in life. Give us signs and wonders as we travel this path. Show us that we are not alone. Keep us in full righteousness and confidence. Put purpose, Father, in our step, in our path, in our heart, under our feet. Put it in all the things that we do. Make it the main thing of our lives. Be here tonight, Father. Strengthen us with your purpose and give us your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right. Yeah, man. I like yeah. that. Ooh. I like that. I like that. You know, I, I oftentimes think if we are to become something, mm -hmm. for all those people who want to become something, uh, great in your field of human endeavor, a great person, a great parent, whatever that thing is that you want to, 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 to create, right. the person that you are now mm -hmm. is not going to be enough to become that person. Okay. Okay. The person who you are now is short-sighted mm -hmm. as to what you really need to be when it's time to get there. And we don't know what those things are in our spirit that need to be moved. Preach, preach. So I'm asking the Lord to give us the mm. fight, give yes. us the character, yes. give us the strength, give Maybe. us the resolve, mm -hmm. give us the purpose in okay. our minds to follow the path that he has set for us. Mm. And see, that's what we got to do. Sometimes we got to, one, one author said, Ernest Holmes, he said, we have to get our bloated nothingness out of the way. See, God already knows how to do what he needs to do. We got to get out of the way. You get them bloated nothingness. Bloated it's nothingness. like full of gas. You yes. Full of, yes. Full of gas. Gas. You know, at least be full of helium and it'll take you somewhere. <laughs> You'll float up, but you but if you're full, full of, of gas, shit. <laughs> you need to stay on that day. <laughs> if there are balls, but I use the day. <laughs> exactly. But, I, but I, I, I like that because, yeah. again, you're not complete. Yeah. And a lot of times you run out here and you think you are and you, you really need to be more patient because there's more things to that process. And that's what I really like about that because a lot of times you feel it and I really think you, you, you manifest it. Right. So with your vision, you got to find a plan to get it out there. Right. And I, I think that's not what's being taught and I think it needs to be said more yes. for we can understand and then start believing in it our own self yes. not what somebody else tells us yes. they look you look for confirmation before you look for yourself yes i believe that confirmation need to come from within the lord is going to anoint you with it yes but if you looking for somebody else to tell you i really feel like he already gave it to you yeah it's for you to use the gift and that's, that's right. where the gift gets mistaken man i got a little cousin he's uh 17 18 years old mm -hmm. getting ready to go to college and he just visited army university okay and uh, as a football player oh. for the football team. And he put on the uniform, and they had pictures of him all over the field and everything. And and uh, I wrote to him on his on his Facebook after he showed us some pictures right. that um, he already has the greatness. All he got to do is go break the records. Mm. You know what I mean? Speak it. And, uh, and that's, that's all of us. You know, there is something that is fabulous in every single person on the globe. You can't live without God's anointing on, in you. But you got to go and find it and take action upon it. Find it in yourself. You know, I want to be a great speaker. I want to be a great leader. I want to be a great motivator. And I want that to be on my tombstone. Mm. Right? But, you know, it ain't going to mean nothing if it's on there and I haven't done anything. Right. 
I won't create meaning in this life, you know, and I'm encouraging all of you to uh, create more meaning in your life. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to our quote for the day. All right, all right. I think a lot of great lessons are going to come out of this quote. Barr put this together as usual, and it goes like this. Life has taught us that it's better to make mistakes than fake perfection. If you focus on what's wrong, you ultimately neglect the things that are right. Happiness is not found externally, but is an inside job waiting to be discovered. Man. Megan Georgia Barber, boy, she throwing daggers tonight. Man. It's better yeah. wake up. Better to make mistakes than fake perfection. All right. Because, see, some people like to show you more of what they believe it can be instead of showing you the truth them. Right. Because if I show you the truth me, then you might not believe in me. And the saddest thing is, no, your imperfections show me that you're not perfect. Right. But it shows me you're resilient. Right. Because 409, the formula 409, it took 408 failures to get 409. Right. So they kept going. All right. Our biggest thing is we start doing things and it don't come out how we want it. Now we want to quit. Right. I don't know where that quitting mentality came from. A lot of it is you got to keep going, but you got to remember to keep changing up your formula. Yes. So find out what's working best for you because you're using somebody else's antidote and it ain't working. Yeah. So you need to find your own. And I promise you, when you find your own, you're going to find a hit. You it's go. within you, you and it's yours. You it's go. yours. It ain't theirs no more. Yeah. You own it. You patent it, and it's yours. But we too busy trying to do it because so-and-so said it. Yeah. We, that's how it worked for them. You ain't them. Yeah. Listen, the past does not set precedent. And uh, you have to break all the records of our parents and the people before us. We have to do things that maybe most people think can't be done. That's really our charge in life. Oh, uh, the, the note I wrote here is try, try, try again. Right? Better to make a mistake than to fake perfection. Try, try, try again. Right. If you focus on what's wrong, you ultimately neglect the things that are right. right. <laughs> and that's so major. You think after a major hurdle, a major, you know, something shakes your life. On the other side of it, you either got to figure out you're going to move forward or you're going to find yourself looking over your shoulder, drifting ahead at a moderate pace because you've got yourself focused on the past. Mm. You know, you're not able to move forward if you stay focused on the past, you know. And uh, just thinking about driving a car, you you got to stay focused on the future. Mm -hmm. And uh, the future will get you to where you want to be. It'll do it safely, and uh, and it'll do it every single time, right? I like this last one. Happiness is not found externally, but is an inside job waiting to be discovered. I really like to say, man, I think even myself, uh, I hurt people when I didn't really see the hurt in me. And then I was around people because I didn't want to feel the hurt and hurt people hurt people and one of the things you got to realize is you got to isolate and you got to take time to heal all right and there's nothing wrong with healing but it's embarrassing when you know you talked yourself into this or for me i let my ego and again i'm speaking for me i don't right. know what all y'all been through okay? right so everybody like to criticize 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 before you criticize understand i did some things and i let my ego get further than my drive and when you do that, you can hurt some people. And my whole thing is after I hurt some people, I had to sit down and realize I got to check my ego because I need my ego because it's part of my drive. When they work together, it's a balance. But when I let them get out of balance, it gets out of control. Yes. And that's where I let myself fall victim to my own self. And then all of a sudden, I stop looking at me and I start looking for other people to fill the void. And you can't have somebody else fix you. You got to start looking into you and work on you and then you can get back to sharing and giving to others i think a lot of people got it backwards because nobody ever sat down and told them and only bad thing is you think that's the right thing to do that's hurt people hurting people quit doing something that i've done and i already know i have bad results yeah and that's all i'm saying yeah that's okay. why you got to tell it. yeah happiness is on the inside and uh, what more can we say than that you can choose to be happy right now regardless of what's going on uh, you mentioned something profound jay ego overdrive and uh, they have to work together. They have to be a balance. I think we're going to talk about that tonight. Uh -oh. uh, when you talk about being honest, you have to remove your ego, and you have to you have to own up to uh, what potentially may be keeping you single and what may keep you single. 
and uh, maybe even what are your faults, whether it's about being in a relationship or not. You got me snitching. Uh, well, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna tell some of our own story okay. tonight, right? And uh, I made a short list. Uh, you know, I could make a longer list if you need to know some of more of my mishaps. But um, I ain't long already. Ain't but I made the list. Yeah, yeah, I lived it. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm I'm ready to get it in. So, uh, okay. in fact, why don't we just jump in, right? Oh, you just gonna do it like that? Honest, I would. Jack. Like, do you think I can? Hey, you let, think I? Me, you I'm think I'm scared? I'm gonna ask you a sincere question, Go ahead, okay? And and I want you to tell me that this is the first thing that pops to your mind, right? All right what's, that? what's hard about dating you? I have my confidence. Tell us about I, 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 my confidence and the fact I'm very competitive. So. I don't think you can beat me at anything, and that's just my mindset. I'm not saying I'm smarter than everybody or this or that. It's just I'm competitive. Okay. So when you, okay. you bring me something, my whole thing is I'm going to take it, and I'm, I'm not running with yours. I, it makes my motivational juices flow even faster because I got so many things going on. So when you mention something, it might be something I already have in the works. So now I'm going to move in that, that direction just to let you know how I work. So again, it, 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 it's one of them things that I like to say I'm very competitive, but then my confidence level, it's hard for you to tear me down when I already built me up. And that's where that ego come from. So to me, when you come to me, you got to come sincere in you. And that way my, my ego is not attacking you. It just compliments of an understanding of me. I want to tell you more about me. But if your ego just as big as mine, we're going to have tip for tap. We're going to have a good time. So is that to say that you, you're going to have to have somebody with less of an ego than you are? No, no, no. Not less. It's just got to have something. Don't come with me with a very low self-esteem because I will probably dominate you. Uh, low I'm not, I'm like not looking to dominate you. Okay. My whole thing is if, if my ego got to attack you to bring you out, nine times out of ten, I'm going to manipulate the whole That's conversation. That's the wrong person. Right. And, and, and it's not fair. I will want you to be openly honest with me or openly with me for we can guide each other instead of me dictating you. Hold on. Or you feeling it? You need a strong woman. I, well, you need a strong-minded woman. I do. It's I do. Like that is but the only for, woman for a weak-minded woman, I don't want you to feel like you're excluded. Don't bring that weakness to me. But find see, your no, find your strength because see, it's who she confident. is. Jay. She can't bring she, nothing well, but who she, she is. But she knows what she's dealing with. No, but you if got you to sit know at the who table with me. With. Right, right. If I'm sitting at the table and you quiet and you shy, you chose her. I, I chose. Her. I'm and, trying and, to get to know and, her. No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get to know. her. <laughs> you always running from relationships. Man. I mean, I'm not hey. running. Sometimes I I, I, I I try to make sure <laughs> I'm not running away from everybody, but I want to know what people are running into. Yeah, and my whole thing is. I don't want you to come with a weak game Listen, because that's what you're used to when you got a strong thing in front of you. That, that's outstanding, Jay. And, and I just want to kind of regurgitate what he said here, okay. reiterate, uh, that his confidence and his comp competitiveness means that he cannot experience a, a low self-esteem person. A low self-esteem woman is going to kind of always get pushed around and beat up because he really needs a stronger woman. He needs a woman with an opinion. He needs a woman who will willing to stand her ground. He needs a woman who ain't talking no nonsense, but, you know, know willing to put out some good sense and you know stand for what she stand for win the argument whatever the case may be you know what i mean she might say something like jay you've been talking for 20 minutes you gonna let me say something and now you know what i mean she gonna take her stance and make sure that she can be heard right. uh if she doesn't if you don't have that kind of woman in your life it's mm -hmm. going to be difficult to create a balanced and loving relationship is that right uh, like I said, y'all got to stay tuned for y'all can hear my answer when we get back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah because you need an A-type personality. <laughs> uh, we hope you folks are enjoying the show. I want you to stay tuned with us. We're going to be right back with more Bar Talk with Jay. Right, right after this. Welcome back. Welcome back. 
Man, them Minecraft clips, I'm telling you, man, that's something y'all just got to play over and over. Yes. I like to say throughout your day, you just need that mental stimulation. I think it's one of the things that can grab you and, and bring you from a low back to a high. Yes. I start on 100, and I know I get pulled down, but I need that little burst of energy throughout the day to help you. Yes. And I think that's one of the things that I really appreciate listening to because, again, um, it's different segments for different things, and I never know where I'm at. And I'm being faced with difficult situations all the time. Don't yes. get me wrong. The comedy of having fun and, and joking don't always happen in business. Right. In business, you got to make tough decisions. And you got to take a lot of the, 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 I like to say, the feelings out of it and stay factual. Right. All right. Because all, all the numbers are more factual, but they want the human aspect of it. And the mistakes happen, but they want to minimize. So I need to get encouraged for I can show that other side how I need them to rise up and not be looking at themselves as a number. I look at you as a person. How somebody else look at you is not our problem. Our problem is making sure we realize we do the best that we can. Right. So I'm trying to motivate my people to do the best they can and to make our lives easy. It's not always going to be easy and it's not always going to be able to be done. But my whole thing is I'm trying to make sure it ain't no 80-20. I want to make sure we got more good people out there than bad. Yeah. I just don't feel like everybody's being coached in the right position. Yeah, that's exactly right, Jay. And, uh, man, there's so much I want to say on that. But ultimately, the Minecraft segments are they're three to four minutes, three to five minutes. They're, it's called Coffee Cup Development. It's, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's designed to give you that three or four or five minute that you might need in the middle of your day to strengthen you. You know, right, right, right. if nothing else, that three, four or five minute is a chapter of a book. And so, uh, you know, spend, you know, spend a few minutes just to develop yourself. Uh, and I've got some other tools that really are on the uh, on the rise to develop you in a very unique way and uh, empower your mind with new ideas and new words. And uh, this is coming forth. You know, Jay, Jay's been with me the, the while I've been working on uh, Mindset Creator and it is finished. And so uh, it's just oh. a matter of uh, just a few nips and pits, you know, nits and things to put together and uh, I'm going to bring it to market, but uh, we got to find a way to recharge our battery. Mm -hmm. That's the key to the equation. And that's what mindset creator will do for you. Tonight's subject is mm -hmm. honest hour. What's hard about dating you? Let me put, let me tell you the first thing that came to my mind. Jay. What's that bro? I've been single for a long time. Right. So what's the problem with that? A ain't been alone. But I've been saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you tell it. That's what I'm talking hey, about. Because I sure going to pull it out. And since I up. said it like that, that could be some more problem in and of itself. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, I don't know who you going to go home right, to, right. but you're going to get a phone call. <laughs> I got choices, you know what I'm saying? I got too, oh, you just killing yourself. I got too many choices sometimes. It just, it's hard. I ain't going to even lie. Uh, what's hard about dating me? I've been single for a long time. Now, People who have been single for a long time mm -hmm. may be considered to be set in their ways a little bit. Right, right, right? right. They want it how they want it, when they want it. They have always gotten it that way. And it's hard to give up 100% of my choice for the choice of somebody who might not be, you know, in the same level. <laughs> right? Uh, I, I once upon a time thought of relationships as if I'm going to be in a relationship, I have to give up most of what I want in order to make sure that they get what they want. And they're going to give up most of what they want to make sure that I get what I want. That, oh, 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 that's oh, that that's hell, relationship, right? Man, hell no, not with me. Not I got to give up. Have, no, listen. Listen, if you're going to be in a relationship, listen, Jay, listen. Based on the lifestyle that's you why live I'm right single now. Too. <laughs> let's just put this into perspective. Go ahead. Based on the lifestyle you live right now. Right, uh-huh. In order for you to, to move into a monogamous relationship and move on to experience love and happiness and all that mm -hmm. good stuff, that you're going to have to give up all of the freedoms that you enjoy right now. For real? And you don't even play golf. <laughs> <laughs> right? I feel like shit about to hit my ball. <laughs> Lower. I, yes. So I gotta and you, give up. you're going to have to give that up. Right? All of your, it. Listen, your waking days and nights are going to be intentionally to be with her. Right. And that means you're going to plan your dinners together. You're going to plan your weekends together. You're going to plan your trips together. You're going to plan. To, and and listen, any of those other angels that have been, you know, flying around the nest mm -hmm. all got to go. I can't eat none of them. None of them. They gone. Right. So 
You've been single for a long time, Jay. It's gonna be hard. Bro, this, <laughs> it's gonna this, be hard to this break the seal. This get very depressing. <laughs> <laughs> no, let me get back. I'm having fun. Listen, I'm having fun. You know but what's you, 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 you right, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you why I'm playing with it. Because again, a lot of people would be like, "Man, Jay, you're right. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard." Let me tell you something. The right one will make you want to give all that up. Anyway. The right one. That's exactly because again, right. that's the reason exactly. I hold on that's to it because you're not sure of a person. But my whole thing is your your reason of not being sure. Let's get it more factual than the fact that you know other people might be hollering at it. That's insecurities within you. Yeah. My whole thing is let's just make sure we are that because the others won't compare. Yeah. See, everybody see, wants see, to be happy, yeah. but you'll never be happy with yourself thinking that everybody can make you happy. Half the people you fool with ain't for you. Listen, eight out of ten of them, you know, ain't for you. But, you know, that's the reality of life. They, you know, eight, nine out of ten of them ain't even ever supposed to be in your life. You ain't never supposed to let them inside. You ain't supposed to call them, talk to them, none of that but stuff. But I'm a good right? person. Yeah. And, Jesus uh, walk with we, everybody. We try. We I try. Mean, I, I try to walk with you. Yeah, but he, he, but, but he only healed those who asked for it. <laughs> he didn't go around just healing well, people. Well, I, I can he say only... don't walk down my street. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. So here's another Houdini. one, right? If y'all didn't know. Another one that I came up with. Um, but. I have a guard over my heart. Ooh, why? Because I've been hurt, right? So have I. Not only have I been hurt, but I've been just watching the world. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody playing fair. <laughs> okay. Every, listen, as much well, how many the conversations that we had talking about cheating and the mm -hmm. statistics and the right. data, like there's very few people who are want who want or are willing or are capable of being in an earnest, pure, monogamous relationship. Correct. And so I don't want to attract somebody who I can have a good time with, but they can't be honorable. I don't want to have somebody who I have a good time with, but you know, in two years they get bored quickly and they got to be moving. They've been moving from person to person to person to person for thirty years. Again, their baggage. And so now they come to me and they, they don't really know what a real long-term relationship looks like. It's probably not as exciting as we all think, right? Okay, and most people me. who have been married for many years will tell you it's not as exciting as it looks like, right? Uh -huh. The anniversary parties make it look extremely exciting, but we was arguing last week about the damn lawnmower. <laughs> you know and everything else and everything else so um you know re these relationships you know they're not they're not easy but uh my heart's been broken and it is it, i don't know that i've seen very many women who have virtue uh in relationships and so that makes me think to myself hey stacy rather than falling in love deeply and getting hurt mm -hmm. maybe you should just run the 30 mile an hour road and you're going to have a great life and you'll have all your choices and you can do what you want. And those who are worthy of coming close, bring them close. You know, you don't need paperwork. You don't need to marry them. You don't need, you know, you don't need wedding vows. You can love them right here and right there. And when they get tired or y'all get tired of each other, you can drift apart. And you don't have to worry about tearing each other's personal personal mm -hmm. lives down by that mm -hmm. we can just leave each other you can go on your way and i can go my way you right, know right, you can right. stop calling there'll be no problem so i have a guard over my heart and i think that uh yeah. may be one of the things that uh that's hard about dating me now, i will tell you i i feel the somewhat of the same way for a long time but after dealing with some people that's been married and talking to them because again i was married for at least 16 17 years uh i know about that feeling and one of the things i will tell you if anybody come in my life and I feel for them like I want to, I will probably try my best to push back towards marriage because I want to make sure I leave her comfortable and I want to make sure I stay protected and I want to make sure she has a legacy that I want to leave, let alone with my kids. Do you see yourself getting married again? Yes, okay. and I'm going to tell you why. I push so hard to be to where I'm at, then I, I, I selfishly love me so much now I need to start loving someone else because God didn't make me want to feel like this love was just meant for me. Yeah. It, he filled it with me for I can give it to the world, but it wasn't for everyone. And it is a special one that can understand me and relate to me and care for me in a way that we both going to leave here happily. Yeah. I'm not going to be the richest person, but we're going to leave this bad boy happily. Yeah. When I say happily, we ain't going to be hurting for nothing. Yeah. We're going to make everything happen, but it ain't just about money. It's about making that whole integrity movement towards what he wants for me. Right. It's for the sacrifice. Right. And again, everybody can't sacrifice with me. The only one really sacrificing is me. That's why I'm giving my story. So, again, why I'm difficult because of my ego and understand the hurts that I've been through, but I don't go off That's the good. hurts. I go That's off good. the fact that I'm healing, yeah. all right? Yeah. My divorce was a hurtful thing, You're but healed. I'm not going to ever cry about that. I'm going to tell you I healed. 
Right. Healing lets you know I had hurt in it. I don't have to keep talking about my hurts. I can only tell you he has more for me. Right. So anybody that loves me and understand me would know what I'm saying. You wouldn't be in fear of, oh, you still got a great relationship with your ex-wife. You just need to know at one time she couldn't stand me, I couldn't stand her. But the one thing I can tell you is we still had kids together and we still had to get better. She had to grow and I had to grow. Now we got a friendship that's unbreakable, that's real. And then when I deal with somebody, I can't stand the fact that you got a problem with me, but you still deal with yours. So, so watch this, Sexually, Jay. and I don't. So watch this, Jay. And you're kind of talking about it, but is is what's hard about dating you the fact that you have a great relationship with your kid's mom? Is Which one? I got a great relationship with my Moms? my ex-wife, with my other daughter's mother. Every I got kids. I'm going to have a relationship. I got to take care of them. Yeah. There's only one that I don't, I'm not tight with. Yeah. And, you know, and I put it out there, you know, and that would be Shaniga's mom. That's Wanda. Yeah. We, we had that situation where it was difficult, okay? And, and I'm not going to try to push to make it right. I just made sure I let my daughter know. Yeah. Paid for so, you and did what I could, but unfortunately, me and your mama fell out, it, and it didn't work so, out. So, you know, any woman who comes into uh, your life or mm -hmm. a man's life, right, and you've got uh, two or three baby mamas, right? Three. Three baby mamas. Uh, you know, the question going to be is, are you are you still hitting any of your uh, baby mamas? Just no. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> I had to put that out there because, you know. It took you too long now, some Yeah, you know, my whole thing is before <laughs> I like, just, maybe. I, 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 well, well, no. Uh, well, the, the number one problem is, is, is you still just understand I left an imprint with them that they always going to be close to me. Okay. okay. So that's my good. whole thing is a that's lot of good. people feel like that's what you got to continue doing. I did enough then to make a child and understand that I went back and respectfully held and took care of my kids and my responsibility to a way that they see me in a different light. So to a lot of women, yes, you have every reason to be scared of the relationship I have with them because I never forsake them. I don't have no reason to. They gave me my child. They gave me something that I can never look at them less than. You will never hear me say this a baby mama or that whatever. That whatever helped raise my children. They 30 some years old. They're living. I want them to hear this show. I have no reason to talk down to them ever. And if anybody ever go to them, I would still protect them just because they protect mine. That's what a real man do. The problem of the day, we too busy talking down and not realizing they still got to look up. And there ain't nothing to look up when you're talking down. Yeah. And uh, that's what and I listen, say they never did to me. And I think I the, never do it to them. The right woman is going gonna, is gonna to honor everything you just said as long as you ain't hitting. And, I'm, I, don't, and I don't have to. <laughs> but I'm not going to yeah, sit here and say that they don't got love for me. Or you make, you know, but see, a lot of people got to hit because they want to keep that connection. I got the connection mentally right. because of the good. actions and, of what I do. And that's all she want to make sure. Right. But it's just see, mentally, a lot of times right? that's a fear of what somebody else did. Yeah. Don't yeah. put somebody else on me. Listen, I don't show that. Don't do that. Thing. It ain't but a few behaviors. Now, I, I ain't putting that. my ex's behaviors on my future, but I'm watchful. And if you want some bullshit, <laughs> I'm going to see it quickly. Right, right, right. I mean. <laughs> that's, that's all I'm suggesting, right? right. Now, hold right, on. Uh, let's give some, some nuggets. All right. If you're still showing negative <laughs> or doing things like that towards an uh, uh, ex or a baby mama, you already know it's more there than what somebody might be yeah, saying. So yeah, So that's, that's kind of yeah, yeah. When yeah, I say that. Yeah, yeah, he ain't supposed to still have no draw in the dresser. <laughs> <laughs> still got clothes over at the crib. Yeah. Yeah, his shoes in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't supposed to be like that. So, again, so yeah, them them are small nuggets to let you know about what things might still be. But when a person says I can't stand them, I still hate them, and all this other stuff, I I don't tune into that because I really feel like you don't gotta feed me because I feel like sometimes you feed the person to make them feel like well he know that I don't like him because of the things I said. No, I look at y'all reaction on how y'all handled y'all children. Okay. So if you got a child with somebody and your interaction is decent, it makes me feel better compared to you telling him how much you hate him. He don't do shit for you when this man is trying to do something for his child because you man, want me in their life because all of a sudden I can do more because of money. Money you, does not change the fact a man wants to be in his child's life. Don't do that. That right there makes me pull away from you because away from you, you're yeah. not a good person. Yeah. Let that was something you did before me. Right. And he, well, I had intuition. He wasn't nothing, no way. But your ass got with him anyway. But now all of a sudden, I'm I'm the knight in shining arm. Let me tell you, your intuition need to tell your ass I'm done. Yeah. 
Okay? Since it's so good, let you know I'm done because you're giving me too much drama. I don't need that because I didn't give that to mine. Right, so right. why the hell am I going to go through it with yours? Right. That's what I'm saying. Right. I'm not fit for everyone. I have still to heal because I watch so much and it's like, yo, you know something? Maybe I need to take more time to myself because I don't want to enter that. That right there is not what I'm looking for. And that's why I calmly try to go from relationship to relationship to try to seal. And that's why I say I don't get in a monogamous relationship right away. Because why am I giving all my options to one person and I'm seeing all this negative in the world? My whole thing is let me date. Let me figure out where I want to be. You can do you. Uh, and my whole thing is that that sounds crazy, no, but it really ain't because we're dating. We're gathering information to make the best decision on who I'm going to be with, and I ain't trying to be with no one else. But until then, don't limit me just to be with you, and you full of it. Just because you see where I'm going. Well, I know where the hell I'm going. God gave me that path. You didn't. You would just be riding a coattail that won't last long. Mm. You would never be able to, and a rope or a chain can keep your ass bound. Listen, if me. she's not equally yoked, she will be riding the rope. She will be riding the chain. And, and getting choked. And never catch up, right? <laughs> uh, what an excellent dialogue there, Jay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take our final break. I want you to continue to stay tuned. we got another Minecraft clip for you. We're going to be right back with more Bar Talk with Jay right, right after, after this. this. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Man, happiness. I like that. 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 Yeah. All right. Now. Who we have in the house? Man, we got Queen Anonymous done stepped in the building. Blessing love. I'm back. All right. (laughs) The traffic got me today. Oh, okay, it's okay. <laughs> you 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 got it right now. Yeah. Crab, give it to her. All right, it Tell goes it. like this, Miss Queen Anonymous. Mm-hmm. This is honest hour. Okay. Honest hour. What's hard about dating you? What's hard about dating me? Mm-hmm. Um, I would say probably I jump to conclusions sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, good. Man, yeah, yeah. That's a big up word. Oh my god. That's good. To... And tell us about that. What does it mean to jump to conclusions? After the first day he belonged to you? No, <laughs> not that. No, but that's like, illusion. I I I I'm from the I'm from the island, so when they text message me, I don't understand it. Like what? It'd be looking like somebody coming after me, and then I'd be like, rah, rack at them, you know? But it'd be like it's just a regular thing. Like sometimes like Mis- uh, misconstrued like i get it misconstrued so okay. you you start thinking that he's lead going one direction but he's yeah. really going another direction <laughs> and yeah. what are those directions that you might be experiencing is, is is he trying to go with you or is he trying to just get with you well sometimes it, 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 he he's not he, he's trying to trying to understand like i always have that in my problems in my life like even with friends like they get me like a text message always mess me up. Uh, don't text message me. Please okay, say, listen. No, don't please text say. message Queen Anonymous. Please, yeah, exactly. Please, please, Queen please Anonymous. Your text message. You, you need to call people. <laughs> all right? listen, you need to start call. hearing from folks. Yeah, yeah because we hear. ain't even got in to get to know you. Yeah. and your friends and families <laughs> and none of that. We just talking about you yeah. Know, words confuse you. you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah they say the wrong thing. The way I text message too, I might. I might look like I'm saying something, right. but I'm not saying it. Because text right. message can't really talk, so... So stop doing it. Let's so just everybody say be like, if really? You ain't like, if you ain't like it, just I got, stop it. I got one for us, Jay. What you got? This is interesting, and this is uh, interpersonal. Okay. I'm kind of complicated, right? Did you say kind of? I'm kind of complicated. Right? <laughs> that's the Hell, same I, thing I'm saying in a different way. And, yeah. and thus... Being complicated, mm. I n- kind of need sophistication. Oh, ain't nothing wrong with that. Right? So, uh, and I, I started thinking, of how, how can I explain this to people? Uh, yeah, just yeah, just an you. example would be, um, I'm running a big business. Okay. Million dollar business. Okay. Um, I might need two or three things to support this, this project. Mm-hmm. I need my ride or die. If she can't get it done, if she can't do it, she can get it done. 
You see what I mean? Mm-hmm. She got to move and shake like me. Right, right. And, you know, it. we can't, you know, I've been through a scenario where I was running big business and I had somebody on right. my team, but they right. was on the sidelines. Okay. And sidelines just don't work for my Sideline. vision. You know, right. I need Michelle Obama in the house. And that looks different for everybody. And I'm not asking for all in all, but I need a go getter. Yeah, you know? that's a weak one. Yeah, I need somebody with a fired up spirit about making something happen in life. And I have a I have a notion, and uh, you all can understand where I'm, where I'm coming from here. I have a notion that somewhere in ghetto America, mm-hmm. there's this real ghetto chick, right? Mm-hmm. right? Who ain't been nowhere, ain't done nothing. She, you know, but she got a good heart and she mm-hmm. fired up about life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she can ride with me. Mm-hmm. You don't need no education. You don't need. A, I just need somebody to go thing. get them. That's right? Exactly. That's why that drive. Yeah. What, what What was the movie Power? You know how mm-hmm. Ghost and his wife was operating. I was. You know, even though he was cheating on her, but you know, but she. Was, but <laughs> anything that he needed, and <laughs> even when she knew he cheated, she went right, and got right, the right. business handled. Okay. She didn't. She did not let the family go down for silly shit. She mm-hmm. kept the game going tight. All the way through, and I and that's the kind of woman I need in my life because right. I'm trying to go big places, and right. I'm gonna need a lot of support. Right, you know, I'll yeah. pay all the bills. Just give me a little support. No. I'll take oh, you on all the trips. I'll buy you all the diamonds. Oh. I'll but give okay, you all the fruits of life. Ways. You can have two ways. Though. You can have everything you I got own. Some men, Just you got uh, some men don't have that drive needed. Okay, no. and, no, hold and on. listen. Craft, and, craft. Uh, there's a lot of women who need a man with drive because they don't have it. Yeah, craft, craft. Right, I'm gonna help y'all. Go ahead. We in Atlanta. We in Atlanta. You, you, you do this. You, that's what they look for. Okay. So uh-huh. your DM about That's to blow you your DM about to blow the hell up. Oh, okay. <laughs> you gonna get a lot of people that ain't with what's in your DM. Right. Because that's what they want. You just they want to hear that. Base. <laughs> you want somebody that's gonna do that. So please understand what we're saying. And I'm hurt some people's feelings right now. <laughs> so all the ones that got excited for Jake. what he just said, don't Ooh, DM that. him. It ain't you. Look him up at you can look them up, follow them, and understand them before you DM them because I'm telling you, you're going to DM a person that your ass can't handle. You can't handle the truth, and that's why we don't give it half the time. Why people don't tell the truth Because y'all yeah. ain't ready for it, and most people don't do it because they want to give you less of a decision. I'm telling you straight up about me mm-hmm. because you couldn't handle me if, by me telling you about me. Right. It's easy for me to lie about me and then you be able to figure it all out. Well, guess what? I can tell you the damn truth and your ass still won't figure it out because you are <laughs> opinionated to hell from other shit you've been through. So I'm telling you, when you say you will take care of all this, because I know I will too, half y'all don't understand that. And when the ones that do, and I promise you, there's only going to be the ones that's close to me to even know this. Money is not an option when it comes to a man making six figures, Okay. We didn't give that's a damn about y'all money. Yeah, our whole thing is: can you be real and genuine to understand where we're going? That's what because we need things done. It's not always about money, but we are about genuineness. Can you watch over the family? Mm-hmm. Can you make sure things is done that I don't have to worry about this? But you got to right. worry about my DM and who hollering at me because yeah, exactly. your insecurity. That's, Listen, that's stuff too it's much bigger much. than that. But them little things make me distracted, and I be like, okay, yeah. I got to move on. Because it is, and I don't want that. Mm-hmm. But a lot of people need to realize it's more to this game than the bull crap that the TV shows and everybody been showing you. And I promise you, if you get to know a person, you'll know how to move. One of the things he was saying, somebody should have been asking him, what you doing next? Anything I can do. Right. When a person take you out to eat, show you genuine care, not love. I don't know why everybody running for love. Stop it. Mm-hmm. If a person don't show you no damn care, why are you showing love when they don't show care? They hand mm. in hand. Mm. He should be showing you like. care. If you care back, you will grow for love. Right. No, you won't love so damn bad. You forgot he ain't showed you no care, and then you wonder how he got over on you. Because you did that. You allowed that. Mm-hmm. My whole thing is, I'm telling you about my business. I'm telling you about things I need done. And you sit there and you say, well, anything I can do for you, baby, don't play with me when you say it. Well, because when right. I ask you something, you don't come through. You're going to be X'd out. Yeah. Like that, half the people that I deal that's with. That's what I'm saying. That's the point. So he, that quit playing have to say. and realize, are you in position? And if a person puts right. you in position, are you going to answer to? And I'm telling you now, that's why I'm at. my ass is still single. Why Kraft might be single. But we ain't trying to be single. 
So when everybody say a good man, I don't think half y'all understand what good is, and, and good is mm-hmm. subjective. Yeah, and I just want you to know when somebody speaks and you care for, you will yeah. do for. That's right. Because yeah, everything so that's good for you, they care to do for you because it's not to hurt nobody and right. it's to add to a legacy. When somebody asks you to do a fetish, fetish, sexual fetish, totally different. Keep that sideline. Uh-huh. I'm telling you about a true relationship. Yeah. And that's why I do non-monogamous because I want you to be you. You yeah, got every option right. today, anybody you want. Mm-hmm. And I want to see if you'll still put me first. When I'm not right. being put first, that's you easy. better believe that's why my ass stay non-monogamous. I'm right. not exactly. dealing with somebody that it. don't want to see me for being me, In other but words, I don't want to tell you what you need to be. You're not you need taking to no just shots. be with me. You don't need to talk to nobody else because that's a dictatorship. Yeah. And at that point... Mm-hmm. You're going to do it just because of what I say. I want you to do it because you see it in me. Right. You see me going somewhere compared to me controlling you. Because yeah, money control it. people. Yeah. And I can get that's people to do it, all it. kinds of shit. Yeah. I don't want that. I want somebody that's generally going to do it because I'm generally going to give to you. It's supposed to come natural. So I don't, I don't want to do it because I... I said, I ain't going to mess with nobody else, and that's why I ain't messing with nobody else. No, I don't want to mess with nobody else, exactly. and I don't want you to. But it ain't because I told you to. Mm-hmm. It's because you looked at me and said, I see a future with you. Yeah. I see a life with you that I don't see with no one else, and mm-hmm. I see the best in you, and I see what you don't see. Yeah. And God gave me this gift, and I'm going to fulfill what you don't even yeah. see. Let me, then you let got me, something. Let me, yeah. let, me, let me say this right here, uh, exactly. and this yeah. is just kind of a word to the wise. If you meet somebody, and this happens all the time, if you meet somebody and you you kind of think that they might be out of your league, right? Yeah. They, you know, they're good people, they, but, they, you know, they might be going places you ain't never been and wanting to do things and talking about right, things. That's true. But the, the, the important thing is if that's what you uh, admire about them, mm-hmm. then begin to be like them, right? Right. right? Mm-hmm. That's how you're going to fit in their world. Yeah. Begin to operate like if they're go getters and 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 movers and that's shakers, true. then that's you get true. you some moving and shaking, right? You should, you should want to the, get that when you see it. Yeah. Anyway, the the millionaire true. won't mind at all if you come home and say, "Oh, honey, I saw one piece of lingerie today." He be like, "Oh, baby, you got to sell. You on your way." Mm-hmm. Right. All he care about is that you moving in the right direction, right? Right. We don't want nobody wants somebody who is stifled in life. Mm-hmm. Right. We all want somebody who is doing things and making life happen. Right. Yeah. So um, uh, Jay mentioned something a moment ago. I wanted to comment on What's that? Um, we are single and we are not single because we want to be single. But I'm getting to the place in life where I'm I'm starting to think about it much less. Mm. And yeah, yeah. that means that I might even miss an opportunity that's right in front of me. Mm-hmm. I, we, we had a gathering recently, mm-hmm. and um, I thought my job in the room was to be a good host right? because it was our party. Correct. Right? Mm-hmm. And so in being a good host, I'm milling around the room, and I'm chopping it up. I'm making sure all the beautiful mm-hmm. ladies got a drink. I'm talking to everybody, making sure they don't feel like they're you know outcasts mm-hmm. or whatever. I'm, I'm mm-hmm. really working the room, making everybody feel good, mm-hmm. I think. And then after the party... Uh, someone pulled me to the side and it was like, damn, you was working the whole room. You, 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 you need to slow down a little bit. They was, they was checking for you and everything. <laughs> next, to know, next thing you know, you what? from one woman to another woman. You from one woman. To, I was like, well, I wasn't trying to holler at nobody. I was just having a good time, right? But the world couldn't see that. Right. The world put playerism on me. And I'm, just, you see too. Yeah, and, and I'm just trying to be a good guy and be a good yeah, host, right? Okay. I wasn't trying to shoot no game. I ain't asked for no numbers or nothing. I was just having a good time. But I got labeled. And this was yeah. one person. This was one lady, so I would imagine everybody else in the room was thinking the same right. thing. Like this cat's working the room. <laughs> you look like a little hoe. That was, that's, that's what I look like. Look, right? You look like, like a fox. <laughs> and I'll be honest with you. Grabbing a little fox. My, my heart, my oh heart my was had, my heart has such pure <laughs> my heart has such pure intentions right. in the equation that I feel like I might not be equipped no. to be <laughs> no. You no, know, that's uh, one of the things that's hard uh, about me no. because I don't know when you're hollering no. at me. Yeah. A lot, you know, a lot of women yeah. smile at me. Crap. A lot of women say, "Hey," I, a lot I of women. Crap. That. Yeah, I want to. I want to defend you. I right want a woman to be like, "Hey, I, I want I, you. I, Come I, here. I, <laughs> Give me your number." I want to defend you. Yep. I, yep. You have what you I want. I want to defend you because one of the things that you did is something that I do all the time. And one of the things is when you see your drive, and you're pushing your drive, your ego takes over. So again, you're pushing 
what you already see, what he has for you. And it's part of your drive, but your ego takes over. And that's why you are, are so complimentary to everyone. Okay? And that's how Jesus walked. This is why it's done. Understand your path and understand your purpose. And you understand <clears throat> everybody ain't for you, but you can walk with everyone. You can walk I with everyone. I need to know right. that you yeah. know where I'm from. And then you got to figure the rest out yourself. So it's not you casting down saying, man, I, 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 I'm looked at as a thought as I, as I play with. It's because that's where they are. Yeah, but I ain't going to stop being who I am. You no, know you saying? should never. Yeah, because Ms. the Mrs. bottom line Crab is going to recognize all... that's my right there. Yeah, right. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, that's the one I want right always there, keep you know respect saying? in our game. Yeah, we absolutely. always move yeah. within integrity. Thousand percent. Mm -hmm. But to a yeah, lot of people, they yeah. want to push down what they don't understand because they don't like how you move. They they fear you. Yeah, listen, and they you talking about understanding. My father, my father raised me, and we, we almost out of time here. My father raised me to see the beauty in every woman, right? So mm -hmm. when I'm looking at aunties and grandmamas and big people and small people and people, okay, I, I, okay, I, I, have, I have trained my eye to go and find their okay. beauty. Sometimes it's their eyes, sometimes it's their hair, sometimes it's mm -hmm. an outfit, sometimes mm -hmm. it's their personality, but I find something beautiful about every person, right? right. right. And, um, and a lot of women who ain't ready for that, <laughs> who ain't ready to have a man who can see, right. see like Let that. Let me tell you, you know what I mean? Some of the most beautiful people to me are people that don't just look the part. They do it secretly how they love others. Yes, yes. Now, when you get close to somebody, you will see how they move and how they act. Mm -hmm. you, they can't fake that. Yeah. Makeup, oh. injections, and everything else that make a person feel good, that's you. Mm -hmm. I, whatever you need to do, but I promise you, if I see you acting nasty to your family members and you acting wow. nasty to the siblings yeah. and you acting all like this, yeah, to the waitress that's what let me know yeah. how you are. Because mm -hmm. to me, you did all that enhancing, and you still acted ugly. My mm -hmm. whole thing is, that's what you are. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. No matter how good you look <laughs> yeah, on the outside. Too. Let me tell but you. But on the inside, yeah. when you care for the ones that's, that's handicapped it. and care for everyone else, yeah. oh, my God, you draw my yeah, attraction. And mm -hmm. at that point, my eyes close down. Yeah. Because God asked me to judge you by your looks. He asked me to judge you by your soul. Hey, Jay, that's good. That's Close it. your that's eyes good. and realize that's a good person one. don't that's have to true. be as fine as what everybody that's say they good. need to be. Because mm -hmm. that fineness is what's making your eyes give you a misperception. Because the Mona Lisa ain't fine. And let me tell you. Y'all all seen that shit. Okay. But y'all say one thing. I'm telling you, it ain't worth it when you don't see it. Close your mm -hmm. eyes and realize they showing you by their actions. That's what I'm looking what you for. See. Yeah. I'm looking for the inside. The I'm looking for I'm looking is. for that's guts and glory. A, I'm looking for a warrior. That's the beauty of every person. Yeah, but you got to admit, though, that for a team when the player. outside ugly hell, it's hard to flip them. Well, yeah, it's hard. <laughs> hey, so that's when you need a that's when you need an after hours party. <laughs> <laughs> you need a blindfold. <laughs> <laughs> you be like, hey, listen, listen, listen. Hey, listen, listen. Baby, I might not be able to see, but I'm feeling bumps. <laughs> baby, 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 I got this new game we go play. We are gonna both put on blindfolds hey, and have wine and conversation tonight, and I'm gonna see if I fall in love. With your inner we, spirit, but. we both gonna get drunk and we ain't gonna tell it. It's <laughs> called a drunken moment. <laughs> hey, listen, we out of time. This has been Bar Talk with Jay. My name is Craft Maddox. This is my boy Smooth Jay. Jay. We hey, got Queen, Queen Anonymous, Anonymous in the house. Thank you so much. And uh, we want to thank you folks for being with us tonight. Yes. Uh, as you can see, we always have fun. <laughs> Hopefully, yes, yes, we all yes. learn something here yeah, tonight. Uh, <laughs> we're here every Thursday from 7 to 8, Facebook Live. Uh, like, share, subscribe, like, yes. share, subscribe, send it to all your friends and family, and continue to join us for some of this wise, wise dialogue that we have here yes. every week. Um, we love you, folks. We appreciate you. And with that, one love. We are out. Ain't no last calls here. Bar Talk with Jay.